Hello and welcome back to Crypto Novus. Uh, my name is Chris Brown and I am the host of the channel for those of you who are new. And as you notice today, the setting's a little bit different. Uh, the weather is beautiful today in Southern California after the rain, so I kind of wanted to get into nature. That's my thing and so I am, here I am. Uh, the, uh, at the same time, what I wanted to do is share a little video with you about what is happening in the market right now as it relates to the Reddit situation, AMC, GameStop, and how it's impacted even the crypto market, and in particular, Deutschcoin. Uh, there is uh, some lessons that I've learned during this moment in time, and so I thought I would share them with you. So real quick, here's the story. Back in 2017, I actually had bought some Deutschcoin. And yes, I have sold all of my Deutschcoin as the title has indicated on this video. And the reason why I did that is because back in 2017, I had bought the Deutschcoin and I bought it because of the hype. There was a lot of conversation around this asset. I didn't know much about it. So I was kind of following the crowd, if you, if you will, and bought the coin, put a little bit of money into it. Um, and if I lost it, not such a big deal, but no one wants to lose if they're gonna make an investment. So as we, I bought it at the peak really of the old 2017 bull run. As it moved into the bear cycle, I started seeing a loss and it continued to go down and I think it dropped way below a half a penny. I'm not really sure to be honest with you. Uh, but what I do remember is that I wanted to sell it. And I thought to myself a couple of different times, no, let's pause for a second. Since you bought it in the bear cycle, wait, excuse me, into the bull run, wait till the market cycles all the way back into another bull position. And so I just simply waited and kind of just took it off my radar and just let it sit there all by itself. So at the beginning of this year, I started to look at all of my assets like I do and started looking specifically at Dogecoin and started watching it. And it started making some movements. And then last week when all of a sudden it shot up, you know, to like two, three cents, I was like, okay, something's happening here. And then it shot up super, a super high, almost reaching eight cents. And I simply sold all of it. So it's all gone. I took those assets and took those profits that I had made from that asset and I moved them over into Engine and to Algorand. Now those two projects I have some understanding about and really believe in, in, in their use case and the problems that they're trying to solve within the market. And so I feel very comfortable moving my profits from that, that one asset of Dogecoin into these other two. So let's take a look at the four lessons learned uh, around this situation. The first is do not buy hype. Being new to the market, I did, and I'm not gonna beat myself up over it, but it's not the right strategy to make. You'll, and as you'll, and because it's not who I really, I really am as a person. You'll notice as I develop this channel that I'm not gonna really hype up coins or projects. I tend actually to be a little bit more on the conservative side as an investor as I present the information. And the reason why is because I just don't think there's really any, any integrity into it and I don't think it's wise thinking. So I'm just simply not going to do it and I wouldn't recommend that you do it as well. So let's take a look at the second lesson learned and that is do not buy or sell out of fear. Now, I'll be honest, I've done both. I've, I have bought assets and I've sold assets due to fear or FOMO and the situation didn't work out for me. Now, in this particular case, I won. And I bought it, at a, not at a good time, but I waited. I developed a strategy, waited, and then I sold. And lo and behold, I actually did about four to five X. And I realized that four to five X in crypto is not a lot of money, but it's four to five X. So I, I, I'll take my wins and I will invest those wins into projects that I more firmly believe in and I think actually will perform even much better. Third, you want to be educated. The only way that you cannot make the mistake of either buying or selling out of fear is to be educated. So it's really important for you to spend the time and to educate yourself on various projects that attract you for whatever set of reasons, learn about them, watch those projects, watch the teams, watch and see how they've establish their own timelines and are they achieving their goals on those timelines? And you know how is the market responding to them? How is the business community responding to them? 
So as you'll see, you know, a large part of what Crypto Novus is about is about educating investors, educating new investors in this market to, so that they can make very, very wise decisions and establish good strategies of buying, of entering into the market and selling and exiting the market. So number four, and that is to develop a strategy. I really believe that the best way to to be successful in the crypto market is to have a long-term strategy. Now, I'm not negating the short-term. I'm not negating trading. In fact, we'll do some education on trading in the future as I figure out exactly how I wanna package that. But I think whether you're trading or not, a long-term strategy in this market is really what's gonna make you successful. And you have to develop one. So, develop one and stick to the strategy because your strategy is gonna really help you make wise decisions in the future so that's it for this video i hope that the plane didn't over overtake my voice um but i hope those four little lessons learned that i learned in the past you know few days will help you in in you developing yourself as an investor so enjoy the rest of your day i'm going to finish my hike obviously out here in the in the in the, in the nature and the, remember this is crypto novus where newbies become masters See you guys in the next video.